Good news. Good news these days when it comes to economics and when it comes to politics only comes from one country, basically. One country. And that's Argentina. Because in Argentina, you actually have a president who has a clue. More than a clue. As an understanding of economics. And is actually trying to run the country to the best, I think, of his ability or to the best of what his parliament will let him do in order to improve the, the you know, the, 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 the livelihood, the, the standard of living, the quality of life of the people of Argentina. Um, some good news out of Argentina. It turns out that Argentinians are taking the dollars they have out of the mattress. So Argentinians over the last few years have been converting their pesos into dollars on the, on the black market. Uh, so hoverable rate, much different than the official rate, but they can't convert a lot of dollars, of pesos into dollars by the official rate. So they're doing the black market. And they've been putting it in the mattress. They have been taking it out of circulation and they have basically been uh, encouraging this massive black market to exist. So they keep it in the mattress. In the mattress, that money does not create any economic activity. And indeed, it takes dollars out of circulation at a time when dollars are needed in, um, in Argentina in order to import things from other countries where you use dollars. So it seems that Argentina has become so confident in Javier Millet and his policies. And he's also promised a tax amnesty for people who bring the money out of the mattress that they're actually taking it out and depositing the money in banks, in dollar-denominated accounts in the bank. Dollar deposits have surged 40% since Millet took office. They now sit at close to $20 billion. Uh, this is the highest level they've been at since late 2019. Uh, and, you know, the, so in the meantime, uh, you know, Argentinians are still paid in pesos, but they can open a bank, a bank saving account at a bank in dollars. More and more are doing so, but more importantly, they're taking those dollars out of the mattress and putting them in the bank. That means they trust the banks. They trust the government not to confiscate their dollars. They trust the government not to tax these dollars that have suddenly showed up from the black market. Uh, you know, the, the, this is one more step in the process of Argentina doing away with all capital controls, which is crucial for its economic health. That is one more step to getting the Argentinian economy closer to what Millet promised, which is dollarization which would completely revolutionize the, uh, the economy, put it on a dollar, get rid of the central bank, and um, I think put Argentina on a path that could potentially make it a, a really, really strong, powerful economy, particularly if Millet can continue the deregulation, continue the shrinkage of government spending, and everything else that he's done. So... Um, uh, tax amnesty expires September 30th, so people have until September 30th to take the money in the mattress, put it in the bank. I expect that to spike even further. I'm sure some people, a lot of people will keep some money in the mattress, because you never know, and that's probably good policy in Argentina. I mean, who knows what will happen with Millet, to Millet. Uh, so you, you want to have some cash. But it's great to see the confidence they have in him, in his programs, and their confidence in the future of the Argentine economy, which I think this represents, it represents that confidence. So, um, yep, it's, uh, it's going to be interesting. I mean, basically, from the moment Millet took office, dollar deposits in banks have been going up. Um, just one more sign that the Argentinian economy, Argentinian population is supportive of Millet's agenda and that, that he's doing the right thing, doing the right thing.